What are you going to do when we get back? I wish I could just snuggle with you all day. Yeah. Um, whatever you, baby, what you tell me. Well, it's the first off, tell me what's going on with Ted. Like, who's watching Teddy? Martin. Yeah. I swear. I'll have a drink. Thank you. you. He told me to stop talking to you weeks ago. Oh. You know, you're cute and you're convenient. That's why he doesn't want us drinking together. I did everything I could. Uh -huh. But it's okay because he is going to keep the key to the house and we're going to go get the locks changed. Okay, good. Travis is healthily possessive as I am for him. We're infatuated with each other, and I wouldn't want a woman hanging out with him without me. So, see you later, Martin. Oh, look at this. This is amazing. Look at the view. It's nice. The breeze. Can I uh, get you anything to eat or drink while you're here? I want a beer. You want a beer? Yeah. Is there any way we can have, uh, like, a pizza or something sent to the room? Got it. All uh, right, thanks. Thank you. When I was in prison, I... You know, I dreamt of having pizza again, steak. Um, I still haven't had my first steak, and, you know, they don't serve you any red meat. Oh, fantastic. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. I would say, like, what we saw the most of is what we call meat rock, which is guts, beaks, feet, eyeballs, uh, mashed up into a meat-type substance, and they, they turn that into everything. It's just absolutely disgusting. Ah, baby. Yes? First beer as a free man. Toast to everything that you've done for me, have done, and will do, and everything I'm able to do for you for the rest of your life. Thank you for everything. I love you. Mm. I'm not living one day without you. Whoa, that was almost too much. Oh, he's a pro! <laughs> oh! It's good. Oh, it's so good. This moment, you know, I'd rather be nowhere else. This has been... <sighs> it's been wonderful. We have right? never even had sex yet. Yeah, I know. Let's go. Mm. Let's go. Let's go. Stop! Mm -hmm. Where's the elevator? Over here, over here. <laughs> it's roughly been 14 years since I've been with a woman. After you. I don't know if I'm gonna use protection or not. Um, this is the woman I plan on being with forever, so we'll see. That's something we need to talk about. Let me see. Oh my god. Mm. All right. No time for talking. <laughs> I haven't been with the man in four and a half years, and. I've just never been this turned on before because of the emotional connection that we have. Oh, it's a nice out, too. Mm. I'm obsessed with his body. I'm not going to lie. I'm obsessed with it. Yep. And the tattoos help. Oh, That's the pizza. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Are you serious? This is the Oh. Mm. Oh. Oh. Well, I hope that was good. Mm. How was last night? It was good. Give me some details. I liked everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a virgin again. I know. Well, I'm used to being by myself. <laughs> I'm used to doing it alone. Right. Well, me too. I, I, I honestly, but this is a little different. Having sex with Justine was everything I hoped and dreamed about. Like, it was just perfect. Uh, <laughs> I'm so sexy. Mike was perfect. Perfect. I just stay here all day. <laughs> he knows what he's doing. I know what I'm doing. So, you know, we got a good thing going. 
I like this outfit a lot. This matching stuff is cute. You don't think so? Well, it's your idea, babe. <laughs> I'm gonna call Mel real quick and see. Yeah, call her. I'm so excited to see the kids. Hello? Hey, boob. Hi, hi. How you doing, baby? Good. Did you know? I'm, I'm happy to see him, but, you yeah. know, like, I haven't seen him. You know, I only seen him, like, twice. Three times the most while I've been In six up. years? In six years. And, you know, it's, it's, it's been hard for me because when I was home, I was... It was always me and him. Right. Everywhere we went, all oh, you guys are like brothers, and you know what I mean? And, to, to... and you did a lot for your family. So I always to did only a lot come and everyone. see you that many times, I don't know. You, you know the me? adage, how to say out of mind. Yeah, so, well, you know. That's how I feel like everybody just forgot about me. And I'm going to tell you something, being in prison, it's like being in the cemetery of the living. Because you, you get to see everyone just continue to live while they act like you're dead. And that hurts. This is going to be the first time everyone sees us as husband and wife. Like, this is like our first little This is going to be the first time everything is the way it is. We're married now. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, people have to respect that, too. Not just the kids, everybody. And that's the point I'm going to make today. And that's the point I'm going to make today. <laughs> I mean, I think I get along with most of the people in Michael's family really well. His mother and I, we started off as friends, and we've remained friends throughout these three years. But I'm also her daughter-in-law now. I am the, the woman in Mike's life. I am the top priority, you know? And I feel like that's just something that she's gonna have to understand, you know? There's room there for both of us. We're not necessarily in competition, but there is a space for me, and that's right next to him. Hey, uh, listen, right? My man, uh, my man Mocha's about to slide through. Don't you think this is more of a time for your family? Babe, I gotta handle this. You don't this have to, to handle it, then this is a choice. Mocha's one of my guys, man. He's been one of my guys for a while now. He's basically dealing with a bunch of liaison that, that deals with record labels. And, you know, he, he can basically change my life overnight. I consider him family, and we do have business to talk about. You could get back with that another day. Yeah, but, babe, I mean, I don't got, I got baby, shit I got to handle. I don't want to hear you. Whatever, my girl. I got to do, too. Yep, uh-huh. Always have to be business with you? Listen. No. Hugs and kisses don't pay the bills. I don't give a How you think they're going to feel? You killed How you think birds I'm going to feel? Time. It shouldn't be an issue. Put the birds on your time, not on the time with me and your kids. I like to be done. Yeah. You know what I mean? yeah, so do I, Mike. So you shouldn't be mad. It's, it's something no, that's just, I don't want to see your friends today. And neither do your kids. Can you put your seatbelt on? Yes. What is her problem? I'm not understanding. I got my a vagina tame. I ain't never had no like that. I don't know what you've been doing since I've been gone. And that just threw me off. Why threw you off? You don't need that. What is her problem? I'm not understanding. You move a sus, man. What? You move a sus. I don't know nothing about vagina tightening. And I am just worried about things about Gabby that I don't know. You know, you don't know everybody. You don't know nobody until you know them. So you start living with them. I stood here, I've been with you, I didn't leave you for nobody. I could have been left you for somebody, right? Right? And I still stood here with you. I love Gabby. But it's tough not being around your, your woman in prison. She telling you she love you every day. And at 9 30, when the phone was cut off, you ain't gonna speak to her until the morning. And you don't know what she did all night. So you in there stressing. You got a good woman who want to be faithful to you, who want to be with you forever, for life. I want to be with you for life, not with your bull****. That's why I'm going to be right here with you. I'm not going to let you go. You know I love you. I want to be with you. I want to be with you. I'm nobody, I don't want to be with nobody else. If I wanted to be with somebody else, I would have been dipped off on you in jail. What, what are you doing for me? You're in jail. I could have been left you. Yes, you can. I still stood with you. I'm going to hold you down with the utmost respect until death do its part. I'm not just going up and leave after well, no act argument. Like it. I'm not act gonna like up and it. leave you after no argument. I'm not gonna up and leave you over no bull. You don't make me. You don't make me feel like I'm your wife. I'm gonna make you feel like that. You're gonna see. You're gonna see like you love me. I appreciate you coming to give me like 
You know I told you that a hundred times already, right? Like. Yeah, I know. I need some I don't care. About <laughs> Nothing. Okay, okay, relax. I'm gonna taste the We don't think we're going to bathroom. <laughs> Yo. I've seen Chris half naked. Go, 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 go. This is not how to go down on Nah, I'm changing my clothes. I saw his penis already. It's not my girl. Come here, let's go. I haven't had sex in about five years. Chris hasn't had sex in about seven years. So it's going to be a walk in the park. Take it off. Where did you go? I played the fifth. That was crazy. My thing hurts now. What? My inside. I feel weird now. I feel like... This is it, right? I'm married to this guy, and now I have to wait another two months for him to come home to me. Are you kidding? You're gonna call me? Yes. Give me a kiss. I feel weird now. I feel like... This is it, right? I'm married to this guy, and now I have to wait another two months for him to come home to me. Are you kidding? You're gonna call me? Yes. Give me a kiss. But I have my secrets. And I am worried because keeping secrets from Chris while he's in the halfway house is pretty easy, but when he gets home, it's like he's gonna be all up in my Am I gonna hide anything from him? Hello? Hey, babe. What is that sound, babe? Uh, no, it's not me. I keep hearing it, too. You got your head I'm stuck gonna in the thing? I'm going to try to ignore it. Uh -huh. I love you. I'm coming to get you. Today is the day. Skylar's getting out of prison, and I'm ecstatic. <laughs> <laughs> I got to be there at 10 a.m. It's a two-hour drive, so I better get to speed. So what did your Aunt Tina say to you last night? She just has concerns. Just, like what? I just like, need her support. I told her, you can disrespect well, me all you want, but you're not going to disrespect my woman. And when I said that to her, she told me to shut the up. My Aunt Tina and my Aunt Tara are supposed to come over to my grandmother's house and help get it together for when Skylar comes home. But I'm not sure how that's going to go because I got into a fight with Tina over a text earlier. There was a lot of talk about Skylar. Like, she was being super disrespectful. Tina's uh, worried about my relationship with Skylar because uh, with me just fresh out of prison and Skylar getting out of prison, she just doesn't want anything to happen that would uh, lead me back to going to prison. I don't want to bring that kind of energy to our lives. I love you. I love you too, bye. But I'm also a young man and I gotta figure this shit out by myself. What you doing? Nothing, cleaning up. Getting ready for the big day? Yeah. So exciting. <laughs> yes. And nerve-wracking? Yes. What uh, What's going on? Where's Tina? I thought she was going to help us. She was going to, but I, after talking to her, I can't. My Aunt Tara, she is my dad's sister. That's her. And my Aunt Tina is my mother's sister. My mother passed away, and uh, I was an only child. And then my Aunt Tina, she had two sons. She's a bit of a wildfire. I don't know if we raised her or if she raised us. I'm not trying to fight with you. Oh, okay, this is the way to do it. What do you mean? Nothing, Nathan. I don't want I'm you out. to be disrespectful. Oh, so I can be disrespected, though. I'm not disrespecting you. I'm asking not. you to support me in my and, relationship. And what am I doing here? Fighting with me. Okay. And I know you have concerns for me, but everybody has concerns. I have a lot of concerns. And when I'm not bashing nobody. I tried to have a conversation with you. And I should have never supported you to begin with. That's it. I can't do it. Can't deal with you. The Google Career Certificate. 
There's no talking to her. I'm sorry. I can't reason with her, so. Do you want me to yes. go out through yeah. the air? Yeah. Okay. I thought she'd see that, like, this would be a time in her life when she could support me, but it's not happening. Hey, Tina. Hi, Tara. I'm sorry, Nathan said that didn't go well. That's okay. It's not your fault. Sorry. Like, over here, where we're safe. Yeah, yeah. This isn't the best situation. I know we're both coming from a place of love and concern, and your concerns are legitimate. You come from a place of knowing much more of his history than I do. I mean, I think you've lived all of it where I've all been of in it. the I've background. I've been there through all of it. His mother dying, his stepdad dying, his dad not being in his life, and I try to support him and, and get him through those situations. But we have to give them a chance, don't we? I don't support the relationship because I know too much about it. I know things you don't know. and I'm sure you do. And I'm not going to pretend like everything's good because I know it's not. I, I'm concerned for him. I'm concerned because her last two boyfriends are dead. I don't want him to be the third one. He doesn't want anybody to know, so I'm not going to sugarcoat and act like everything's fine. Right or wrong, or for better or for worse, I'm <laughs> going to go in there and help him do what we've set out to do today. I'll see you later. OK. Let me know how things go. Yes, OK. I will, I will. I'll be thinking care. about just you tell him I love him. I will, will and he knows it. Just tough love. Tina left. Thank you. Let's um, let's pack this up. Let's move it on. Let's go forward. Today's a big day. Thank you. I can see why Tina would have concerns. I'll see you when you get back. I'm gonna work up here on the bedroom, okay? Thank you very much. Love you. Love you too. And I'm not saying they aren't justified, but. You have to give them a chance to fail. All we can do is hope and pray and be there for them. But they've got luggage and baggage and trunks of stuff to unpack. <sighs> I'm a little nervous about getting naked in front of Derek. Prison, that's our alcohol. You can make hooch by just using sugar and tomato paste. That's it. It's called white lightning. That gets you drunk. Like, it tastes just like tequila. Russian vodka or whatever you want is going to taste just like it. I ain't going to lie. When you up in prison, it feel like you're not in prison. Only thing you're missing is the woman. Everything else is a party in prison. But it's hard to be hungover in prison because you know the police come around for their count and you gotta be standing on your feet, you gotta be up. But then you gotta, it's about your safety. Cause if you hung over in prison, you don't know who plying to get you. Cause they ply in prison all day, every day because they bored. It's nothing to do in prison. 24 hours, seven days a week. What's up, Pelotop? She mad, she can't take me. Them hoes is jealous of me. Them bitches is jealous, I told you. I got good and good hair. I'm sorry. It's just like this whole time he's been in prison, like, y'all never visited him once, never did anything for him, but now you want to make it a big deal to be there when he gets out. She can't be petty with us and Derek. Yeah, Derek is not, the Derek is not like that's that. Gonna deal he, with no. He's not going to deal he with He's going to fight against that. Like I can you tell you won't last. She not stand against. They not going to last at all. I'm telling you. Everybody says looks doesn't matter. But in my opinion, looks does matter. Because he can go down the street and see a girl with an hourglass shape. He's been looking at ankles and buttholes for the last eight years. What makes not saying that he... Derek, but, and, and Derek hasn't physically seen, like, a beautiful woman outside of a police outfit. Not saying she's not beautiful. In eight years. So the first look at a little extra body might turn him and know that it's better out there. Now he's going to be mad at us. We can't even beat her for him because she's so insecure. I love Derek. I love our relationship. I love because I wanted us to have that moment alone. It's hard to be excited now after everything that happened. 
I feel like he will be so hurt, so upset if I'm not sitting out there waiting on him. It's just like, you know, he's my man, so I'm going back. She started. We didn't even bring a girl with us. I could have brought one of my friends yeah. with bod uh, body, hair, weave, makeup, lashes. You came with a clown face. <laughs> and you are your flip <laughs> Ho, 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 ho. Stop, stop, stop. He is here. Ah! Get paid up to two. <laughs> hey, how you doing, baby? Hey, hey how you doing? Good. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. <laughs> it was good to see you. <laughs> oh my God. Smell good. I love you. Too. Look good. Too. Look good too. <laughs> Thank you. Feels so good. Be so close to her now. First time I've ever <laughs> held hands. Hug. Uh, what I was getting into when I met her, and she and we talked about this. So, like, I'm pretty strong. So, let's go. You ain't gonna see your family? Well, that's them right there. What's Close up? Close your door, poo poo. Right there. Yay! The hardest thing about being in prison was being away from my family. <laughs> What's up, with you? Hey, What's up? 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 All right, baby. It's Ryson right here. What's up, Ryson? What's up? When I first got my time, I thought it was the worst thing that ever happened to me. The judge, she gave me 87 months. I'm like, oh, you give me all that time. I ain't kill nobody. I ain't rob nobody. I ain't do this. I ain't do that. You know, I was just selling drugs. I've been selling drugs since I was 13. You know, some kids in school were selling candy. I was selling weed. We had to come. I know you ain't want us so, to come. It's all good. Y'all okay. came. We good. Yeah. We ain't want to leave you in our It's all love. It's all love. Okay. Okay. I, I respect that. I know better now. I know that it's a better way to live a life. Monique, this is my girl right here, Monique. Hey. Hi. My brother Chris. Hey. This is Monique. Donnie, this is Monique. How you doing? Hey. Liz, this is Monique. Bryce, this is Monique right here. Ariana, hey. this is Monique. Hey. This is my girl. Hey. This is my round with. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Follow us, you hear me? Right. Monique, she's my rock. I love her with all my heart. My family has to respect that. That's it. It looked like you cut it some. I did. Yeah. yeah, Monique is bigger than me. She's a BBW, a big black woman. Okay. And it might not be everybody else's preference, but it's cool with me. I'm looking at the character and the heart. I'm happy to finally see you. Do I look like my pictures? Yeah, you look like your pictures. Everything is good. You're still beautiful. Ain't nothing changed. Everything is good. My mother is going to be pissed. Gabra, are you stupid? Hello? Hi, this... <laughs> You happy to see him? Yeah. All right. Ready to go? Yeah. Mom, you want to hear how loud I can clap? No. Y'all three get in the bed. <laughs> oh, first time. First time. It just it still doesn't feel like real. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Damn. My man just hit me up. Oh. Mocha. Really? What's up, baby? Uh, what's up? My attitude, that's what's up. I'm not going to take away from the kids. You act like one conversation is going to take away from the kids. Mike, like, you act like the one conversation needs to be done right now. It needs to. This is going to set the foundation for our future. Quack, 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 quack. I know nothing about Mocha. You know, that's his friend. But this is Mike's first day home from prison. And work and friends can wait till any other day but today. What? Sweat. You want me to put the air conditioner on for you? Nah. I'm just, so many people are going to be there, man. I'm so nervous right now because I'm about to see my kids for the first time, about to see my mother. You know, like, all these things are just flashing through my mind because 
You know, it's reality. It's actually happening now. It's not a figment of my imagination anymore. Wait, is that him? I know, I just saw a car pull up. I'm looking at it. I don't want to say nothing. That had to be him. Wait, mommy, Nova, Mace, come. Come, come Michael. Oh my God, it's Michael. <laughs> What's up, <man? laughs> It's okay, go. Come on, man. We're here, baby. Go, go, go. Papi, come on, come on. No, baby. Go, baby, you first. What's up? You first. <laughs> Wow, wow. Nice to meet baby. Seeing my kids for the first time and just hugging them. And this is, this is, I don't, I don't think anyone can understand that. You know, it's, it's like, it's, it's, it's just, it's, it's, it's a feeling that makes you feel like you've been brought back from the dead. You know what I mean? How are you doing? I'm good, I'm good. Sit down. Sit down. You right, man? I'm good now. I missed you, man. family was crazy man after so long of not being able to embrace them that way because even when they would come see me i can't hug them for that long you know and i can't cry with them like that especially when you're in jail and people can't see you you know what i mean they think you're soft because because like that so when i used to see my family in there i used to kind of like you know hey what's up oh, you know tough love to but it was it was wonderful man to be able to just let loose like that a lot of built up emotion I want to say thank you for coming. I missed you all after all this time that we've been separated. I'm praying and hoping that you never go back there, right? No more crazy idea, no more following nobody. I don't think that's ever going to happen again. That's Mocha. <laughs> Mocha. <laughs> <laughs> Good to see you home. Christened you last night, and we will be back. Being able to spend that first night with her was uh, just what I always, you know, dreamed of. What? what? We're in our first plane. Ashley is my parole address for the next 36 months. Have a good flight. I feel so excited about living in a state that is known for beach and great weather. Ugh. I can't wait to jump in the pool. Teddy's gonna freak out. I can't, like, it's this is easy. You know, missing people in prison, you know, missing your family, missing loved ones, it is depressing beyond measure. So I wish I could have more people here. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm so close to uh, my family, but I have the world at my fingertips with the woman I love, and it makes me over the moon happy. Yeah, I can't wait to see the house. Like, I've only seen the pictures that you sent me. A on million the pictures? Yeah, well, <laughs> and really tiny. I, oh, I, I worked my, my ass off trying to get it. I know it, you like... did. But, I yeah. mean, everything I've seen, it just, it, it's definitely going to be the best place I've ever lived. Babe, I'm ecstatic. What? That's our house. Oh, this is the house? Yeah. <sighs> I can okay, get used on. to this door thing, babe. Yeah, I know it. There he is, my car. You see my car? Yeah, it's nice. 
Baby, this house is amazing. I want to know where the bedroom is. Okay. Yeah, let me, let me see. All right, just put that right there. And voila. This is our bed? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> uh, oh, look, Teddy oh, loves me already. I've put so much work into making the house a home for Travis. Show me the rest. Yeah. I had to furnish the house completely myself. So I've spent quite a bit of money. Oh, this is a grill? Ah! Oh my God, baby. But he's worth it. This, this is, is the best pool. part. Oh my gosh. Is I, that a ring? Yeah, I, in case you needed help finding oh the my engagement gosh. ring. Well, baby, <laughs> this is for you. Um, <laughs> as a token of my love, I would like for you to have this. Okay. <laughs> Don't let, you know, don't think I'm trying to show off or anything. No, I think, it's I, you know, it's about the right size. <laughs> in prison, I did propose verbally. I gotta go in. I gotta, I gotta go in. I gotta go in. But Ashley and I right now aren't officially engaged. My wallet and my mind aren't quite there yet. I'm waiting to reacclimate to society and, and get my life in order. F it. Ashley, over time, did send me money uh, to help me get by in prison. Now you can't stay in wet clothes. Oh Let's go. Okay. Come on, we'll get you out of your clothes. Sure. Yeah. You know, I, I want to be back on level terms with her. Um, right now, she has her life in order. And I want to show her that I am going to be everything that I've said to her that I will be. I mean, look at all this stuff. This is amazing. It's like Christmas for the newly released. All right, we gotta keep jewelry nice and secure. You have to watch it for mommy. I'm ready to go, mommy. I do not really trust Derek. Guys, I just found a way to get your paycheck up to two days early. Just open a chime. How do you feel about seeing the trees and the fresh air? feel good. I love it. I'm happy to see you. What I feared the most happened this morning actually happened. I honestly want to know how he really feel about her. I do, too. Because Derek is the type Ooh. of person who Very will... Judgmental. He will, he's judgmental. So when he actually ride with her, I'm going to be surprised. I don't like, think so. I really I don't wanted so. us to have, like, that moment. Like, you know, we've been waiting for this forever, yeah. and it's like... Yo, family members, they ain't been around for I don't know how long, and they want to show up and ruin that. Right. Like, they know how I felt about it, they know how you felt about it, so it's like, why go somewhere where you not want it? So I will never f with your family at all. I don't want nobody fighting. Just leave it alone. Just kidding. Hey, how you doing? Hello. I like to look good, feel good. How you doing, Derek? That's me, what's up? And it's been over a year since the last time I washed my hair. Because I wanted my hair to lock up in prison. They didn't really have good products in there. I didn't really like them. I didn't want nobody touching my hair, so I just kept it like it was, let it grow out. You brought the whole family, I said. Yeah. We just ready to see his transformation. I need all that. A miracle. Yeah. Gotta shampoo you first. Yeah, that's cool. Come yeah, on. Where we going? We going straight to the back. Listen, talk to you, get to know each other. This is so weird, like nobody's talking, nobody's saying nothing to each other. It's like dead air. A little uh, tension. What's the tension for? It's kind of weird being in front of people you just met and not really, you know, had a conversation. So, so it's a conversation situation. that you want to have? It's more of a meet and greet instead of a meet and ski. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like everybody took how I felt the wrong way out of context. Yeah. It wasn't like I was trying to keep Derek from y'all. It was mm -hmm. just more so like we're trying to be like selfish. Not like that's your not man. Even selfish. It was more so like Derek knows I have a lot of anxiety. And yeah. like, this is like our first time meeting, so I was like, I didn't want to meet him and y'all at the same time. And it just came off kind of weird to kind of tell us to like fall back for somebody. It's like, damn, you know? You don't feel like that was wrong? Derek agreed to it. So by him telling me, okay, well, yeah, now they want to come, 
I said, Derek, but we already had an agreement. Head. If I was in jail for nine years and uh, just a dude showed up and not my family, I would be hurt. So I put myself in his shoes like, no, we definitely have to come. It was just too much. Hey, look, hey, look, hey, look, hey, look, hey, look, hey, look, man. Hey, look, man. Eric, no, hey, come on. Y'all are loud. Y'all are loud. We just talk loud. Oh, Derek. Derek. From the bottom of your heart, you didn't want us to come. Please tell the truth, because please. you got all of us in the middle, like, it's just like, please from the bottom of your heart. You really did want us to come. Can you please tell them that? And you did, and you was trying not to hurt her feelings just as well as our, hurt our really feelings. Know, right? Yeah, I want everybody to come. I want everybody to come. I really did want everybody to come. I want you to come too. Well, why play like you, man? Because I want, I want, I want, I wanted what she wanted. They though. wanted you know that moment, but yeah. at the same time, oh, we wanted God. to show you support. Well, why are you playing like that, then, Derek? That's my whole thing. She wanted something, right? Yes. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna ride with her. That's what she wanted. But I, I thought you knew that too. Though. I wanted, my, I wanted my family to be there. But I, but you said you wanted that moment by yourself. I'm like, all right, let me just. Do that for you. I really hope Derek is not trying to play Monique because Monique is very serious about this relationship. She takes him very serious. Wow. They look so good. Like Black Tarzan. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> he do. He do. <laughs> These bitches are crazy. I'm just tired of arguing with his family. They don't respect him. They don't respect me. I'm tired of that. It's time for me to go. It's time for you to go. Everybody to go. <laughs> Once we'll be able to live together, I don't think I'm going to allow him to see his sisters. <laughs> I want to be with my girl, get back to the hotel, and make some love, have some sex. <laughs> I forgot to tell her something. We got married. Mom. Hello, Saul. Hey, Gabby. How are hey, you? Hey, what's up? Hi. What's up? How are you doing? Sorry. I came to visit you. Oh, wonderful. What do you want? Oh, step aside. I just want to talk to you about some stuff. What? Um, the fact that Chris is, um... We're back to this Chris. I dropped Chris off at the halfway house a couple weeks ago. I can't wait to see him and for him to come home but my relationship with Chris affected things with me and my mom because she doesn't agree with me being with Chris. Gabriel, you just met this dude. We've been together for a year. You don't even know him, Gabriel. Yes, I do. What are you talking about? I talk to him every day. Stupid. If my mom doesn't get close with Christopher and she doesn't agree on my marriage, it's really going to break me because I'm going to feel like I'm torn between the two. So what's the deal? Chris is, um, he's coming to the house. For what? I forgot to tell you something. What? We got married. You really got to come to my job and tell me this Why? It was after he got released. We did it really quick. We're Gabriel, gonna are you wedding. stupid? No, Gabrielle. You're, you're real. Uh, uh, why are you wasting your time? Hmm? Why would you want to give him a chance? Because when he was in jail, he was talking to other girls, too. Chris thinks he's a ladies' man. Mm -hmm. He's just a flirtatious little He's been caught talking to several females while he was in prison. She put, can you do me a favor and tell your husband to stop calling my phone? Are you serious? Hey, your wife should not wait for That's not your wife? Because she told me y'all are legally married. But he told me how much he's sorry for everything that he puts me through. And eventually, I forgave him. If he physically cheated, then I would have been a problem. Gabrielle, but yo, this is like an ongoing story. Like, just end it. Move on. Get an annulment. This is Gabrielle's weirdest relationship, to be honest with you. Chris is definitely not Gabrielle's type. She went out with um, cops. She went out with professional basketball players. I know my daughter. They're not going to be together. I don't give a about him. Don't. Bring him around me. I'm telling you right now, I'm not going to accept this marriage. Mm. So there's another thing. Hold this. What's this? Huh? What's this? You look at it. Mm. You better call a lawyer. You got a lot of situations to take care of. The Google curse. Finally free.
We checking in first, right? Yeah. Anybody go get a bucket? Go get a car, Derek. So are you gonna feel okay by yourself when I leave in the morning? Cause my flight is 5 a.m. Yeah, I'll be fine. Okay. I'm really not ready to go home. I really don't want to leave her out here by herself because I feel like she's outnumbered by his family. What's your name? Yeah. What's your name? Honey. Then <laughs> Calandra. <laughs> See if we can get something next to each other. I do not really trust Derek. She doesn't know anybody out here. She doesn't have anybody out here. Just him. But at the drop of the dime, he could just, like, leave her. And this is what you see room. You guys enjoy right. your stay, OK? Thank I'll you. I'll get this room right here around the corner. Yep. And this is exactly why I don't want Monique to move to Cleveland by herself, because I know that's going to hurt her. Well, my room is back that way, y'all. So I just want to talk to you for a second. You know you got family, and you can always Call us if you want me to come back or you want somebody out here. We're going to be fine. I'm just making sure. No, everything's going to be OK. I'm ready to go, my man. I got this. OK. All right, have a safe flight. All right, see you. All right, see you. What she was talking about? Just wanting to um, make sure I was OK. I plan on staying in Ohio for two weeks. Then I go home. You're by yourself now. I'm just ready to spend time with my man. But I'm a little nervous about getting naked in front of Derek. Go ahead, Becky. Hey. Last time we saw each other was not a good time. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Super excited. Ready to spring her out of the joint and get to the real world. Looking forward to giving her a big hug and big old squeeze. I'm super proud of us for sticking this up. Relationships are hard, especially ones behind bars. I'm so excited today's the day. Skylar's getting out. And I just can't wait to just be with her and have her in my presence. I might just cry. We'll see. I feel pretty good about seeing Heather and her brother. I'm glad they're coming to show our support. Today, when I pick Skylar up from prison, uh, her mother and Heather and her brother Drew are going to be there. I actually met Heather when uh, Skylar was still in prison, and I don't really know her brother, so uh, I don't know if there's going to be tension there. There's a lot to be proven by me to them. There's a lot of unknowns. This call is from a correction facility. Thank you for using GTL. What's up, babe? So I don't really know what's going on, but they're going to have to drive me to a parking lot near the prison to be released. All righty. I can find it. You excited to see me? Yeah, I can't wait to see you. But I mean, last time we saw each other was not a good time. Yeah. New beginnings, right? I know. New beginnings. I know this will be a fresh start, but if we do fight, at least I won't miss curfew and get sent back to prison this time. This is true. After I had been released for a while, I went down to her halfway house and picked her up when she was supposed to be job searching. And uh, we were just riding around. And we went to a couple different lakes and parks and lost track of time. And then uh, I took her back and she was late for curfew and she ended up going back to prison. All right, don't be weird, don't be nervous. Everything's gonna be fine, y'all will be fine. I love you, I'll see you soon. All righty, bye. I think this is the park. Skylar's mother was definitely uh, not happy with us, and uh, she knows I contributed to it, and uh, I'm, not, I'm not proud of my part, and um, it, it was just messy. I just hope that this time when we're together, it's a little different. OK, well, here we go. Hi, guys. Oh. How are you? So neat. Oh. You OK? Yeah, what's up, man? Skylar was telling me about some barbers I need to get you hooked up with. Yeah. You excited? Yeah. Nervous? Super excited. We're nervous. This better be the last time, because I can't sure. handle it anymore. Um, On to bigger and better things. Absolutely. We're going to look forward. Yeah. We're going to be positive, and we're going to 
just I'll surround her. Like, yeah, we're gonna love her. I'll be around as much as I can. Maybe. I feel like just staying doing what I'm doing is going to be motivation for her because I'm doing positive things mm -hmm. and I'm living different and just showing her it's possible. I worry about the addiction. I'm happy that Nathan's there to support her. But on the other hand, there's always a fear that, you know, we don't know some things. I don't know what triggers Nathan. What do you think about being in Zanesville? Well, I just don't like the whole atmosphere and that's where she was when yeah. she was using. As a mama, seeing everything and yeah. seeing where everything happened, that's a concern of mine. Yeah. It's a concern that those it's little triggers- It's not an irrational as, fear, it's, yeah, it's rational. It, it is, it is. I was completely devastated and humiliated that she was sent back to prison. I love that Nathan is there for her, but as far as do I trust him and do I rely on him to keep her out of trouble? No. What if you get together and you're like, ugh. It's possible. I mean, that's very possible. It is possible. Yeah. That we still have a lot like mm -hmm. to work on and like moving in, but yeah. I would like to have your blessing, you know what I mean? I'm guessing there's a ring or something. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Did you have it with you? No. I'm going to ask her in a couple weeks. Yeah. I just want everything to be sure, sure thing. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah. there, there has to be a solid relationship for a decent amount of time yeah. for, it to, for me to feel, like, extremely confident in you. You have plenty of time to get my blessing. Mm-hmm. When I proposed to Skylar, I want it to be magic. I've already bought the ring, and I know what I'm going to say. I have no doubts in my mind about our relationship. She's my person. Are they going to spring her or what? Am I going to break her out? Where is she? Oh, my goodness. This is crazy. You guys won't pick on me if I cry, will you? No. <laughs> no. I'm going to be crying right there with you. It's getting pretty late now. I think I see her. Y'all are going to have to race me to this van. <laughs> <laughs>